All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. It's a late one. It's a different one. Apologies for no match reaction yesterday. I was very, very busy at work. Also, I just had a very busy weekend. I have watched the game now. And also, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I just have had a bit of imposter syndrome, a bit like meh towards the YouTube stuff. So really do apologize for that. Hopefully, I'll get back to it, though, because I'm thinking... If I do this video, will people want to watch? You know, I, I don't know. I'm having a bit of a weird time with YouTube right now. That's why I haven't seen the consistent upload. So your support really does mean a lot. So get down there, smash the like button, leave all your comments, and subscribe if you are new. But today, we're kind of doing a match reaction, kind of doing a five things we learned from Leeds United 3, Commentary City nil. And uh, yeah, kind of without further ado, let's talk about the game. I think it was Leeds United's best performance of the season so far. Everyone looked very, very good very happy for everyone who got on the score sheet as well. Nonto, Bogle, Joel Perot again. But we're going to start with the first thing. The first thing we've learned today is how quick Leeds United play. When Leeds United play slow build-up football, it's a bit boring. It's understandable sometimes when you're at the Hawthorns, you want to go out for a nil-nil point or you're playing for a draw away from home. But when Leeds United play at home and they play quick football, quick passing football, Brilliant football, quick build up with Aronson, Ramazani, Nonto. Leeds United are absolutely unstoppable. And that's what they've done over the weekend against Coventry. It was absolutely brilliant. When Leeds play it slow against a low block, you're never going to win. When Leeds United play quick, it looks very, very good. Also, just a quick ADHD, cut myself off. My microphone's still not working. Do not want, I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully, I'll get it fixed in the week if I do upload something else. Uh, but secondly, we are going to talk about the pressing from Leeds United yesterday. I don't know if Bielsa was in the changing room, but it did feel like an old Bielsa-style type of game. Pressing, 2-3 man on a ball. Absolutely love that from Leeds United. There was a scenario, I can't remember where it was, one of their players was hitting on the counter-attack and three Leeds United players just caved around him and got the ball back. The pressing, the fast build-up, the quick passing, the counter-attacks. Leeds United looked back to their best yesterday and looked very, very good. And that's exactly what this team can do. Number three, we're talking substitutes. And I thought the substitutes played a massive part in yesterday's game. You know, we're talking Tanaka when he came on for Ampadu. Ampadu had a very decent game until, unfortunately, he came off. It does look all right. He looks like he won't be out for too long. Uh, and Tanaka came on, just showing what the Japanese international can do. And also when Joel Perot came on, he scored again. You know, that man scores goals. That man is the best striker we have at the club. But I understand he's not necessarily a 90-minute player for us. And he hasn't necessarily deserved 90 minutes. But he's scoring big goals. And that's what I like about Joel Perot. I don't think he's complaining. He comes on. He scores the goals. And I absolutely love that. Mateo Joseph gives you a complete different option. You know, the hold-up play, the pace, the actual probably more natural in the box Actually, maybe not. Joel Perot is the most natural in the box. But either way, happy with Joel Perot getting another goal. He's looking fantastic. Similar with Tanaka. And there was a few other substitutes that came on and done their job as well. Looked good. Leeds United looked very good. Number four, I want to specifically talk about Jaden Bogle. Because the last time I'd done a video like this, I was kind of slating him a bit. Thought the jury was still out. I thought he had an absolutely brilliant game yesterday against uh, Coventry. I thought it was fantastic. And he got himself on the score sheet as well. We saw glimpses of what the hype was at Sheffield United. And he looks like he's making that right back spot his own. And uh, it was just a very, very solid performance from Leeds United yesterday. A professional one from a team that, you know, last year really gave Leeds United the business. Really struggled against Coventry last year. And look at that. We absolutely, I know they haven't started off the season brilliantly, but they've still got a very, very good side. We're a very good manager as well. But it's looking a rough time for Coventry. But Leeds United literally put them on the sword. On the end of it, and we look very good. I was very, very happy with that Leeds United. Not even just result, performance as well. Keeping another clean sheet, that's five in seven games for Leeds United. We're already looking statistically a lot better than we did last year, which I know some performances you might not think so. But uh, that's kind of my number five that I want to go with the five things we learn. Believe. Believe in what's going on at Leeds United. You know, I've had a few sort of uh, jabs at Farker. I've had a few jabs at the performances. But at the end of the day, we need to be professional in this approach. How Leeds United are going to do it this season. We need to be professional. And I thought Leeds United were just that. And they will continue to do that. Professional. And also, I'm not a massive fan of people saying, where are the Farker out people now? Because you can't just win a game and suddenly there's no criticism. You're allowed to have praise when you win and criticism when you lose. It's just football. And that's understandable. So I'm not on that for jumping to one side of the argument when results go your way, because you are going to lose games, you are going to win games. But we need to keep a level head. This is a big, big month for Leeds United. You know, we've got Norwich, we've got Sunderland, we've got Sheffield United, we've got big, big games coming up. 
I expect changes from Leeds United as well. But, you know, we're a couple of points off the top of the league. West Brom lost yesterday. And there's things like that that will start to build up as we get closer to Christmas, sort of January picture, where you start to see sort of how the season's going to look out. And Leeds United should be in and around the top spoo, top who? Top poo or top two spots, depending how Leeds United get on. Uh, but yeah, I, or top two, top six, definitely for Leeds United. We need to be there. There's going to be some big tests during that time but really to go over it I just thought it was the performance of the season yesterday I thought we looked back to our best and back what this Legion United side can do and it's because we came up against a low block Daniel Farker sort of scrapped the we're going to slow build up we're going to take the approach we're going to go after him we're going to press him we're going to build up Ramazani Nonto I'm, I'm not just the attacking players because I thought the defense done a fantastic job as well with Furpo Bogle Roden and Pascal didn't have lots to do but what they done was good they played the ball out quickly Ampadu for once was picking up the ball and and spraying it. Similar with Gruev, we're seeing that long ball, which sort of Fark has taken out of his game for some reason. Why? Because he got in behind. You know, Bogle was getting in behind. Ramazani was getting in behind. And look, we've still got Solomon to come back. We've got Dan James to come back. Bamford when he's back fit as well. You know, there's going to be a lot of options there. And this side is definitely capable of putting in that performance in week in, week out. Obviously, over the Christmas period, over sort of now, you're starting to get your midweek games and they start to toll up on you on injuries and fitness and things like that. But this Leeds United side has got quality all over the pitch. And it was just a very, very good sort of game to watch yesterday. It was actually genuinely a joy to watch. Not that I was watching it because I was working, if you're listening, manager. Yeah, my manager, not Daniel. Um, but yeah, very, very good. Very, very happy with Leeds United. The man of the match for me... I mean, I really like Tanaka's performance. I thought Nonto just showing his class, really showing his class. I'm kind of glad he's put his head down and said, yeah, I'm going to be the star boy of this team. And, he, you know, I'm happy he's with the goal. And that goal for the first goal was beautiful play. The, the nice ball out and then the square ball, the finish from Nonto. Like I said, Leeds United just look back to their best. And that's how this Leeds United side can play. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed your weekend after that brilliant positive result. Is it this Tuesday? We play Norwich or is it next? I'm I'm absolutely all over the place with my dates right now. But yeah, just like I touched on at the start of the video, just a bit like imposter syndrome, a bit like, oh, I'm not good enough, a bit like one of them and this channel's not going to do very well. And I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting like that, but that, that just happens. You don't often see that sort of side to me. I'm always having a laugh, but I want to be honest with you guys. And maybe I might soon just start doing some more live streams and just talking. You know, because at the end of the day, talking to you guys is just kind of like a therapy sort of thing. It's quite nice. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. You know, views take a big toll as well. Of course they do. And as soon as that transfer window ends, by the way, where you're buzzing, you're uploading most days and stuff, it does take a sudden drop. I need to bring that back up. New concepts of videos and putting stuff out for you because at the end of the day, there's no point in me just sitting here whinging the whole time. But yeah, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed your weekend. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and get all your comments in. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent, and I will catch you in the next video, whenever that is to be. Cheery.